boy Big G, man. Welcome back to the G Report, man. I got my dog Corey with an AK in this thing. My dog Cal. And we just want to talk about our experience, like, going through this whole thing in New Orleans. Like, not what they talking about on CNN, what we really going through down there. Like, how you feel about it, Corey? Shit, I mean, I ain't gonna, they be saying be self-isolated and I believe in all that, but I'm not about to, like, you know, be in my house 24-7. Like, like, like I'm a microwave or something, just stuck in the house. But I do be like, you know, cautious, and I know I keep sanitizing, you know, wash my hands often. But my immune system pretty strong, so I think that also helps. But I ain't gonna be like, I'm one of the ones that just stuck in the house all day, every day. I go a few places here and there, so I, I, it's kind of on the fence with me. But you know, I, I, I hope that everybody like to stay out the way, if it, especially if your immune system ain't built for it. Then, you know, it's probably not the best place for you to be out here. Mingling with other people and all that. Yeah. How you feel about it, Cap? Um, I'm on the fence with it too. You know, um, I do feel like you should be self-isolating right now. Not necessarily can feel a virus or a stupid just you know to take time and uh, process what's going on around us and you know really think hard about you know. What life means to you, and, you know, what does this mean to you, you know? A lot of people losing love on, not just here, but all around the world. So it's really something to take serious as far as, you know, everyday precautions, cleanliness next to godliness, you know, you, you, you know, gotta wash your hands several times a day. But, you know, like my man Carl said, you know, hand sanitizer, all that's cool, but we also got to know what we're putting into our body and on our bodies, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, hand sanitizer, all that's cool, but we got to make sure we're using the right type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's why we're in this position we're in right now with the, you know, whole little virus situation or whatever, you know, I think um, the years of bad habits and generational curses and stuff that was passed down, I think, you know, somebody or something find, finally found the way for it to catch up to us. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's unfortunate, but you know, a lot of change got to be made. And that's what I think. Man. I think that's a major reset. Because honestly, us as humans, how can you live in a sick society and not think you a part of the problem and you sick too? You know what I mean? So I think this really just a cleansing. You feel me? And like, from the beginning of the time, people been dying, you know, but we ain't never seen it on this type of level before. So it kind of affected differently. And you know, me, I kind of made peace with it. Whatever go, I'm, I might be on a level where I have precautions. To, nobody wants to die, you know? I know everybody done got to a level where they got scared, like I don't want to die. Nobody won't die, you feel me? And we got to kind of stop with the argument where this is 5G, this is radiation poison. I don't, we need to figure out what it is and stop fussing about it and get to the bottom of it and just try to stay safe, son. That's why I'm at with it, son. Like, like how you feel, Corey, like with this whole 5G argument and, you know, people going back and forth with that? Shit, it's so much shit on the internet, I don't know what the fuck true or false because I ain't no big conspiracy theorist, so I don't know. I just, I really don't be knowing. I be lost when it comes to that type of shit because some, some person can seem like they talking about the right shit about it don't make sense and the other person seem like they know what they talking about so right i mean i just pray and just hopefully you know family friends and the city you know we, we just stay healthy and we just overcome this because people die before this anyway so you know right. i just can't i don't know who's telling the truth to be honest because i like i said i ain't big on all that type of conspiracy right. stuff so i really wouldn't know to be honest right. you care how you feel about that bro? Man, you know, who's to say it ain't all that? Who's to say it ain't 5G, it ain't the virus, it ain't this, it ain't that, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's just one thing, you know what I'm right. saying? It ain't, you know, and that ain't got nothing to do with no conspiracy or nothing, you know what I'm saying? You just, you don't know what you don't know. That's it. So it's like, man, you know, you just gotta find what works for you, you know what I'm saying? Find peace. And whatever it is, you know, you find your peace and you know, religion, conspiracies, reality, whatever it is, you just gotta find what works for you and 
continue to operate within them bounds of what works for you, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, we all get, you know, we all start rubbing each other the wrong way when, you know, you know, like my man said, you know, he's not in the conspiracies and all that. And I, and I totally get that, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that's what worked for my man, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, what you don't know, you don't know. And sometimes knowing better, man, it's a headache. You know what I'm saying? Because now when you know, now you got a responsibility now. You know what I'm saying? And it be hard to look the other way, you know what I'm saying? When you know what's right, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, you know, you gotta find, you. you gotta find what work, man. You gotta find what work for you. Now, y'all think it have something to do? You know, y'all, y'all here. Bobolingo, eating plant-based, vegan food. So, how y'all feel, you know, about the diet and the things you wear taking your body? You think that has something to do with this? Yeah, man. You know, if you eat healthy, I mean, you got no choice but to have a better, you know, right. system, you know, within your body. I mean, that's, I mean, that goes without saying. Even before this popped off, you right. know, that's what it be no reason everybody started eating like this. I eat unhealthy. I mean, I ain't no vegan or nothing, but I, I, I mix it up. I drink a lot of water, orange juice. Pineapple juice, apple juice, that's my favorite. I don't drink cold juice, I probably drink it once, once a month. I don't really drink beer, I don't get drunk, like over the top, man. That. So I got, for the most part, my system pretty, you know, it's, it's pretty ready for like things of this nature. Mind, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, the mind, the mind, that's everything right there. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, like you say, when you start putting bad shit inside your body, you know what I'm saying? How you think your mind gonna operate? You know what I'm saying? If if, if I'm driving a uh, Infinity or uh, Acura, or, you know what I'm saying? One of these high end luxury foreign whips, I gotta put 93 in there. It's tell you, as soon as you pop the cap open, 93 Supreme on, you know? So if you try to go to brothers and, and, so and put something eight, eight or six in right, right, right. that they got on bra for, right. for 50 cent, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can't, you know? So, yeah, man, you know, your mind, your, your health is your wealth. I agree and, with you. And, and in this life of the physical realm, that's the only real road. Wealth is wealth you ever possess is your health. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, Money and all that other stuff come and go. You know what I'm saying? Your health gonna keep you going. But you know, at the same time, you still need to be taking care of your health. You know what I'm saying? So like you said, you know, you gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you know, you gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find what work for you. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's like, you know, it's looking like it's killing a lot of black people because our help, from what I see, you know what I'm saying, from my aspect, I ain't putting nothing on Corona, 5G, I ain't putting nothing on nothing, you know what I'm saying, I'm just saying, look, everybody who I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying, for the most part, not saying that they didn't have young people who whatever, whatever, but for the most part, Everybody who they showing and who when you really do the research, they already have underlying health issues. Right? I right. agree with that. So what that tell you right now, right. you know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to take it to another level, you know what I'm saying? And you really want to get conspiratorial or whatever, if that's even a bunch of words. I all type then, of big words. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then, you know, that do make sense, huh? If I want to, you right, know what right. I'm saying? Ain't no coincidence. I, I right. gave these motherfuckers right. pork rinds and pork chops and chunky and all this shit, you know what I'm right. saying? Nigga been eating pork chops and chunky their whole life, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nigga been eating hog mouth and shit their whole life, so it's like, like you know, horrible, <laughs> man. I agree, dog. And even if you into religion, like even religion tell you, every religion, I don't, well, I don't care what you believe in, all of them against pork. From Christianity to it Islam. It gotta be a reason for that. Come on, man. Come on, man. If that's our vessel, you will take care of your vessel. It is what it is. Man, the body is your temple. That's it. <laughs> and that's all the level, though, where I'm at with it. I'm mad about I was able to chop it up with y'all, bro. Like, what y'all want to put out there. I just want, look, I want everybody to be safe, bro. Like, 
my loved ones, if I don't make it, bro, I love y'all. Like, real talk, I love all y'all, man. That's what it is. We, we got to show more love, and as the human being, we kind of, look, we've we, we been living wrong, dog. Like, hate, envy, all type of things, and I, I just think there's a major reset. We got to change it up, though. That's what I think it is. Now, this had to go down for niggas to stop killing so much. Right. Man, what the murder rate down? 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 I think it's on a spiritual level, dog. It's like that. Like, you keep putting that bad energy out there, and look, I think the earth tide, to be real with you, sir. I just think this is a, a major reset. And it's got to change. And if you not go change, you not go make it to the next level. That's why I'm at with it. Yeah, that could very well be. That could very well be because, um, you know, the back to what we were saying in the beginning, like, you know, you can keep it simple. And you could probably get by, right. you know, just keeping it simple, not, you know, getting off the path. And then, you know, sometimes you gotta get off the path and stuff. Sometimes right. you mm -hmm. gotta bump your head and go through a whole bunch of stuff to see the light. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go through a lot of darkness sometimes just to see the light, you know? And at the end of the tunnel, it's like, you know, whoever make it to the end of the tunnel and get to the light, that's who get there. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people lost love, man. It's, like, I, I really feel the losses on the spiritual level. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time I go on social media, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't I, really, I, really, I, really, I really empathize with that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, man, you know, people I know lost mothers and fathers, and it's like, man, you know, if you ain't, everybody had at least one good parent. <laughs> a lot of our pause might not have been shit, but you know what I'm saying? Majority of our mamas was, you know what I'm saying? 110 right. care of us. Right. All right, so it's like, man, you know, when you see people losing their mamas and stuff, man, it just, it just hits different, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, especially if your mama's still here. And then it's like, man, when you really go to, you know, sitting back looking at it, like, damn, how all our asses getting took up? You know what yep. I'm saying? And that's our law bearers down. That's what that's, we talk look, to. Look, yeah. look, you hear me? That's it, every time I seen, every time I seen that, that, that little sand popped in my head. Every time an old person died, a law bearer burned down. You know what I'm saying? That's all I kept thinking. You feel me? Like, you know, that's, that's history, that's stories, lineage, culture. That's a lot of stuff that's, you know, getting took away. Especially from a people who pride themselves on all that. I appreciate chopping it up with y'all boys, man. Yeah, we need to get together and build like this more, bro. Like, real talk, because we always want to separate, but we got to come together, bro, with everything. Group economics, everything, brother. And what's going on, if this teaching us this, it is what it is, bro. Like, I'm thankful for it if this to teach us to come together, because we have to come together, man. But man, look, it's your boy, Big G, man. I'm out, man.